In alignment with Breast Cancer Awareness Month, the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs successfully hosted the Breast Cancer Education event, Bramily, on Saturday, October 12, 2024, at the Big Gardens Hotel. The event themed Big or Small, Check Those Lemons, underscored the importance of regular breast checks for everyone, stressing early detection and comprehensive breast care. This impactful gathering offered clinical breast screening, nutritional assessments, and bra fitting consultations to help participants understand the benefits of wearing the correct bra. Event highlights included a seminar on breast cancer awareness and personal testimonials from survivors designed to educate and empower attendees. Among the key organizers, Victor Lazarus, owner of Rafferty Inc., passionately emphasized the importance of business-led support in promoting breast cancer awareness. Having a business is very important that, that you give back to the, to the public. Um, you, we do not want to all, 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 all um, the profits or the experience or the knowledge, the knowledge about um, um, bra fitting and, and, and the rest goes on. So we decide, let us at least sensitize the young ladies and ladies from all walks of life. Um, the best bra for them, the sizing, especially the fitting, that they'll be comfortable because a bra is a very important thing to wear. The ministry's collaboration with Rafferty Inc. added a significant dimension to the event's impact. Shilan Edward, family life educator in the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs, explained the ministry's commitment to fostering a multi-stakeholder approach. We have decided to undertake this activity for Rafferty Design because we realize it's important to invite or involve other stakeholders in the fight against breast cancer. We don't want it to be a Ministry of Health initiative. And based on the activities that is um, part of the activity this morning, we realize that we need these activities. So some of the activities that will be undertaken is breast and bra fitting. So this is something that they are specializing and we think that it is an added component to the fight against breast cancer. Sheila and Edward further addressed the common misconception, broadening the awareness that breast cancer affects both men and women. Well, men in the past see Friday, um, Pink Fridays or the Pink October as women because persons are men are not aware that men get breast cancer too. Um, but in the, on the ministry standpoint, we have data showing that men get can breast cancer, whether it's very small, but there are men, um, circumstances where men get breast cancer. Providing critical medical insight into breast cancer statistics and survival outcomes is Dr. Asha Mate, consultant medical oncologist and hematologist who highlighted the pervasiveness of breast cancer and the need for awareness among all genders. The reality is, is that breast cancer is very, very prevalent. It is the most common cancer in women. Over 30% of all cancers in women are breast cancer. For the men, not so much. Only, two, only about 2% of all breast cancer cases are in males, but it's still important for them to get checked, although there isn't a screening protocol for men. The screening protocol that's in place is only for women and um, essentially why it is extremely important is because early detection impacts your survival of from this disease. Dr. Martin also offered an in-depth overview of the progressiveness of breast cancer stages, noting the importance of timely intervention. So there are four stages of breast cancer. First stage is really just a tumor. There's no lymph node involvement, and usually the tumor is very small. It's less than two centimeters. Second stage, we start having a slightly larger tumor. Stage three, we're now entering into advanced stage, meaning that we have either a relatively large tumor. However, even at stage three, we can still treat that patient with a goal to achieving remission. Stage four, however, that means that the cancer has spread outside of the breast and the armpit area and is now invading distant organs. The Ministry of Health continues to encourage individuals of all genders to prioritize breast health by attending regular screenings and taking part in educational initiatives like Bramily. Through events such as these, the Ministry aims to empower communities with knowledge and inspire proactive health practices for early detection of breast cancer. From the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs, Chevroy Marius.